Uh, I don't know how to explain this. Sometimes, I don't know if it was a coincidence or it was just because I was sort of depressed today. I don't, I don't know. Um, but not a, not, not, doesn't happen often, but sometimes I have, like, severe short-term memory. As in, like, the best example is when I used to go for school in the morning, my dad would wake me up, and he'd be like, come on, get out of bed, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get out of bed. And then I wouldn't, and I wouldn't have any remembering of that conversation. And, you know, that can happen to most school kids, I'm sure. Sometimes it happens to me in my daily life, like, today, I woke up, I was fell asleep on the couch, I had a pretty depressing day today, it's sort of, and, um, that's it, oh, the food's on the table, the hamburger's there, I don't remember, but, you know, I said, no, nah, it's fine, I don't want it, I, I'll pass. Apparently, I just said to mum, you know, thanks, but I, I didn't need it, didn't want it, she said, well, your father rang you up at six o'clock. And I checked my records, and he did. And she said, he asked you if you wanted, you know, food or whatnot. And you said, yeah, whatever's on the table. And I don't remember any of that. And he's, she's right, I got records. Six o'clock. My dad called me. So I had a conversation with him three hours ago that I don't remember at all. That's how bad my memory can be. I don't know, though, if it was because I was a little bit depressed or or tired. I don't know. I'm sure if it was tired, it happens to anyone. Everyone can be like that. I, I don't know. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And obviously, I don't remember them. But yeah, today, I just blanked out. I answered the phone. I answered my dad's question, most likely with one word or two. I don't know. And, um... I don't remember any of it. It's so bloody strange. I don't know what's wrong with my memory. I don't know if I was just tired or depressed and I didn't realise I picked up the phone. Sometimes it's like a like a like a robot, you know, like a like a robot takes over. He just Hey, hello. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Puts the phone down. But I know you, I know normal people do that all the time. Like if you wake someone up in the middle of the night, you know, like one o'clock in the morning, and you see pranks, and people go, "Someone's on the phone for you." Someone's on the phone, and they're, uh, you know, hello. This. They don't realise they're talking into like a shampoo bottle. So I don't know. I don't know if it's something I should be worried about. But it has been happening lately. These blanks, I just don't remember. I'm sure it's nothing, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it's nothing, but, uh, this is why I record my videos, this is why I do it, but anyway, today was a pretty, uh, half the day was a good day, and the other half was, uh, but every day is a good day, um, I went for a cup of tea in the morning. You know, good, good hour, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. Went hooning on the motorbike. Got home. Went to have a bath. Got a phone call saying, "David, David, come out." Um, we gone to the RSL having a dance. Peter and Louise. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. So I went out there. I'm. Very disappointed. I've I've lost majority of my dancing skills with Peter and Louise. I can't dance. Not anymore. I I'm losing it. I'm actually forgetting how to dance and losing that talent. I've got to I've got to try harder to remember because I love dancing, but Louise has brought me back to beginner steps, like simple spins and shit it's it's bad so recently i've just I've not been avoiding dancing with them but i haven't been enjoying dancing with them anyway i didn't realize who she was until probably about half an hour throughout the dance maybe even an hour 
But, um, this Sheila, her name's Beck. Sort of. I don't know, I, I think that's her name. Uh, she used to go to the dancing club. And she was a very big girl, I guess you can say. Curvy girl. Um, she also looked like a guy. She had like hair like mine. It was short. short. No, actually, I think my hair might have been longer. You know, she looked like a dyke. <laughs> um, she's changed. She's lost tons of weight. She's skinny like me. She's got long hair. She, uh, I know how this sounds. She looks like a girl. <laughs> um, but I extremely disappointed her, I reckon. We had one dance. I was shit. I guess you can say nicely. Very bad. Really all over the place. She never danced with me again. Um, you know, I, I feel like... You know, I'd probably let her down. She probably wanted to have a dance. A proper dance. Not some novice who has flaky arms and doesn't know what he's doing. You know what I mean? It, dancing's fun. But if you're dancing with a person who dances, it's good to at least know what you're doing. If you're dancing with no one, like if you're dancing with someone who doesn't know how to dance, then it's really good fun. And I was dancing with someone who knows how to dance, so... I guess she wasn't interested after I f screwed up the first dance with her. Which is fine, it doesn't really bother me, but it put me in a bit of a depressive mood because... She just wouldn't dance with me. She, um, she had two opportunities. Once was a fast song, said, you, you want to dance? And said it pretty... I could tell she wouldn't, so I was like, you know, do, do you want to dance with this song? She was like, no, 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 I'm good. I like, yeah, fine, fine. And then the waltz came on, and I know how to do the effing waltz. The waltz is easy. But no, nah. I could see her when Louise said, let's go and do the waltz. She was like, yeah, very subtle. I saw that nod. That was a no nod. So, it made me a little bit depressed. Um, I've got to learn. I've got to, I've got to get back up on that pedestal. And I think that's, I think, I think that's the saying. I don't know what the saying is. I've just got to get back and learn. I've got to get back and practice. I'm just losing my skills, my dancing skills. I'm, yeah, I am not doing good. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting more than I'm learning. And that is what scares me. So I actually left probably about two hours early, maybe even three. I said to Pete and Louise, look, I've got too much on my mind. I've just, I've got to go. Wasn't really the case. I was disappointed in myself and embarrassed and... I can't dance. I love it, but I can't dance. Maybe it was just a sour patch. Maybe maybe I'm just going through a rough patch. But, um... I'm losing it. I'm losing my dancing skills. I'm forgetting it. I, I effing need a dance partner. Which is sometimes why I get depressed, because I need a partner, or a lover, or someone. And I'll try and get that someone to dance with me. Then I can learn. If I can have someone I can practice with, you know, once every two, three days, I won't forget. But love and... Love isn't that easy, and finding a dance partner is... <laughs> it's just as hard. So, um, I might forget. Anyway, I guess I always have my motorbike. But, uh, yeah. Well, this day has been really up and down. I don't remember much of this week. I had a huge mental blank, or at least the robot side of me took over. Today, every day's a good day, but today is a depressing day. If I'm watching this video in five years or whatever, like all these other videos are for, I hope I can dance. <laughs> yeah, as a, I hope I, I hope I keep this talent.
this is one talent I really enjoy. And whenever I watch these videos in the future, I hope I still have that passion. The only reason why I'll stop dancing is if I have a bike crash. Bye.